Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have enough of these. I am not going to be buying any more. I've got 12 categories in which I actually wrote a list to remind myself that I have plenty in these categories and I'm currently using and enjoying them and I have no need or want to continue to keep adding. So for those of you who know, if you've been following me for a little while, I was in Paris with my family for about five days recently. And although it was my third time visiting the beautiful city of Paris, it was our first time together as a family so it was extra special and therefore I wanted to be super intentional about how we spent our time and that meant not dragging my poor husband and two kids through random stores browsing and of course they don't like to go into luxury stores because it is a little bit stuffy and a little bit more formal and there's nothing fun for them there so I spent less than two hours shopping out of five days there and I really pinpointed two shops so quickly because I'm not going to have a unboxing video or a haul video if anyone was expecting unfortunately I you don't want to disappoint but I, I don't have that kind of video coming I purchased three tops from Cezanne which is a Parisian based brand that I'm really really into these days and then I bought one birthday gift for my daughter from Hermes little bracelet maybe I'll reveal later and that is because she's turning 13 very soon and I wanted to do something special for her especially to kind of mark our time in Paris so that is it I did not bring back anything else my husband and my kids did not shop either they only purchased a few books from the bookshop there and so what was really helpful actually prior to leaving for Paris I made a list and it wasn't a wish list or a shopping list as you might expect rather it was a list of all of the categories of items that I already have enough of and feel that I don't need or want to shop more in and that it that consisted of all all of this stuff so Hermes bags were on that list meaning I have no desire to buy any more Hermes bags at the moment especially a Birkin or a Kelly I did a whole dedicated video on this topic a few months ago if you missed it I will link it up above and I talked about how these bags are meant to last a lifetime and one Kelly and one Birkin is more than enough for me so I have no intention of going out there and hunting down more and adding to my collection and expanding and having dozens and dozens of these bags in my lifetime so this is my Birkin 30 in the gold Togo palladium hardware this is the Kelly 28 also in Togo leather in the Gris Meyer color with the gold hardware this is just about a year new for me and this is about two years old so pretty new still and I still have to be conscious about taking them out and using them because I have quite a lot of handbags as you guys know so if I were to add any more it wouldn't increase my level of enjoyment it would probably create a little bit of stress and anxiety in terms of you know finding space for them and storing them and maintaining them and then remembering to use all of them so that they're not just sitting there collecting dust so no I did not pick up any Hermes bag during this trip in fact I did not even bother making a bag appointment because you do have to make an appointment to see any leather goods there I went specifically just to get a gift for my daughter and to look at some of the fine jewelry but they didn't have the pieces that I was looking for so that's it no Hermes bags I'm also done with buying Hermes leather bracelets you guys know I am obsessed with Hermes jewelry and even their um, fashion jewelry this one here is one of my favorites. This is the Kelly Dog Bracelet Lizard Embossed. I got this in Paris actually a number of years ago and I love it. Still wear it. It's definitely a bold statement bracelet. And this one here, this is actually the Kelly, I forgot what this is called, maybe Mini Kelly Bracelet. Also leather, beautiful, beautiful. Um, all of my Hermes bracelets have the rose gold because I love the subtle tone of Hermes rose gold. They use a lot less copper than in other brands rose gold. So it's definitely more kind of a muted rose tint. And here this one. So I'm just showing you, I do have plenty now. This one is the double tour bracelet this is actually the same bracelet I got for my daughter she doesn't know uh, as a surprise for her birthday but in the bamboo green color because green is her favorite color so that's what I picked up this one here I'll clean that up later this is not leather but I also have the little click H bracelet so as much as I love looking at the Hermes jewelry I'm done with the leather bracelets this is the um, mini CDC because I have already a handful and 
it's not like you know I can wear every piece every day I have to rotate them so this is definitely plenty for me I also have this one which is from Ferragamo got this in Italy a number of years ago and this is also leather so it's beautiful it wraps around two times it's got the bow and the studs many people have asked me about this bracelet but I've never seen it again ever since I bought it in uh, in Rome so yeah Hermes leather bracelets and just leather bracelets and statement bracelets in general I am done with with my jewelry I like to kind of be thoughtful and curate and think about what I'm missing and I know which pieces I'm missing at the moment so I've got my eye on a couple of things but no not from not from Hermes also Chanel I didn't even bother bringing out my entire Chanel bag collection but I'm not buying any more Chanel bags I did a whole video on that as well and uh, got a lot of reactions around that I'll link it up above if you missed it so I have a few Chanel classic flat bags, minis, wallet on chains, I've got the Deauville tote and at some point it's you know it just started to look repetitive they are beautiful in my eyes but the design elements are very much universal from bag to bag to bag it's just different sizing or different colors so I feel that I have plenty and I'm not buying any more Chanel bags which is why I didn't even enter a Chanel store while I was in Paris also not buying any more pouches I've got my Louis Vuitton mini pochette which is an all-time favorite this one I absolutely adore this is from my dress up your purse collab and it's Togo leather in this gorgeous rose violet it's just a slightly bigger version of the mini pochette beautiful oh, leather oh, love it this is my Chanel mini O case in the caviar this is also from dress up your purse it's a mini toiletry pouch that I haven't even had a chance to use yet so as you can see I don't need any more little pouches so I am done with these as well I'm also done with key pouches so this is the one that I use every single day it's the Louis Vuitton Damien et Bin and it's very durable because of the canvas this also is from dress up your purse it's their rainbow iridescent collection it's their dream collection I believe I don't know if it's still available it was limited but um, I put my extra cards in here it's actually full this one I got a few years ago from Royce and this I got uh, to compare and give an kind of like an affordable alternative to the LV key pouch this is all leather here I also have some extra cards insurance cards things like that and then this one is the newest from dress up your purse in that Togo leather again and you know I get a lot of these sometimes to show you different options and to do comparisons and reviews but for me personally I just need one so I definitely don't need any more key pouches I don't want any more key pouches I'm glad I have these to store my extra cards in but this too is on the enough list card holders so these are the two card holders I have at the moment I also have the Kirigami pouch in the smallest size that I use as a little wallet but in terms of traditional card holders this is it and I don't I don't plan on adding any more actually I have a confession I do have one more Chanel card holder that I've never revealed maybe I'll do a proper unboxing I haven't even used it yet I actually bought it pre-loved off of one of you one of my subbies who reached out to me on Instagram she was trying to clear out her closet and so I bought it from her it's actually a beautiful color maybe I will do a proper unboxing very soon let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see but that would make three card holders and that's that no more also sunglasses I've got my LV Charlotte sunglasses and I've got my Gucci pair and then I've got another one from a brand called Bimba y Lola which I picked up in Barcelona so these have the uh, tortoise shell and then it's got this sort of like mirrored effect on the lens and then it's got monogram wrapped legs it's it's beautiful it's definitely I was gonna say one of my favorites but I only have three so they're all pretty good so this one and then I've got my Gucci you guys have seen this before if you've been watching my videos my Gucci one which is just a classic I can wear anytime it's all black it's got the raised um, I don't know what this is called but this is actually really nice for those of you who have like Asian nose bridges which which is what I have and so this is much more supportive and then the bottom of the uh, sunglasses don't hit my cheeks so this is just really classic Gucci and so I've got the brown version from LV and then the black version from Gucci and then I've got this one here see Bimba Ilola 
For those of you who are from Spain, you'll definitely know this brand. And this is kind of fun. It's like a different, and it's got a army green color on the lens, and then it's just got a different silhouette and different shapes. So I can, I mean, I have three different looks with sunglasses. I do not plan on adding any more sunglasses, don't need. You guys might remember I used to have the Dior sunglasses that had the studs on the side. I gave that to my mom because she really liked it and it suited her. So that is it, no more sunglasses. I am also done with cosmetic pouches. I've got my LV cosmetic pouch in the PM size. I've transferred mostly everything now into my Dior velvet pouch that I got as um, part of the beauty gift set that I uh, showed in a video, I don't know, I guess it was over the holidays. And then this too is from the Chanel beauty gift set over the holidays. So I'm done, I'm done. I'm not going to collect every one of these from every year. That's not, that doesn't make sense to me, for me, um, because I don't have a lot of makeup, I don't need I don't even need all three of these. So that's it for me. Now I know that as you're looking at certain categories, you're thinking, wow, she doesn't even have that many and she says she has enough. And I get that. And then in other categories, you might be thinking, whoa, 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 she has way too much, way too much. She's gotta get rid of a bunch. And I think it's very personal. Whatever you're looking at in your closet, at some point you're gonna feel like it's enough. I hope we can all recognize that and not over consume and then feel sick and gross about it. And so I am just trying to recognize having enough or plenty more than enough and basically manage myself so that I can just use and enjoy what I already have instead of continuing down this sort of slippery slope with shopping unnecessarily. So when you look at your stuff, you might have more in certain categories or less in certain categories and that's okay. I don't think this is about comparison or judgment. It's about what works for us personally. I mean, I guess these are considered pouches or cosmetic pouches or toiletry, I don't know, toiletry, they're all kind of in the same category. So this, even though I use it kind of as like a grab and go uh, in the summertime and on beach vacations, definitely don't need anything else like this. No more toiletry bags. And then this, I don't know if I've ever showed this, but I remember I showed several different pouches and a cosmetic cases from this woman, her name is Yuka. She takes authentic Hermes dust bags, cuts them up, repurposes them, designs them. She's actually very talented. I discovered her on Instagram and we connected and I ordered a bunch of stuff from her as gifts over the holidays. So I gave away a bunch over Christmas. And then more recently I ordered this one because I thought, wow, it's actually really well made. So let me try. I don't have a vanity case and I'm using this as a case to store all of my nail polish and that is another category for me that I'm I'm at enough so nail polish I have 28 nail polish colors in here some of them are super repetitive because I accidentally bought colors that are so similar to one another without realizing it I guess that's what happens when you buy a lot of something so I do love painting my nails and I'm not going to stop doing that but I've decided I won't be adding any more nail polishes until I've started you know emptying some of these bottles Maybe as they get used up and I discard empty bottles, then I will consider buying more. But I only have 10 fingers. I don't need 20 different nail polish um, colors. And then this is actually really nice the way she designed it, right? It's got a zipper here and some netting and I have my nail file in here. So really nicely done. I think I still have a promo code that you can use if you want to save some money shopping with her. She makes all kinds of beautiful products. This is not official Hermes, by the way. I think we all know that. But it's sort of like DIY, really creative creative, very entrepreneurial, and she makes bucket bags and tote bags, and you gotta check her out. I'll link all her information down below, and you can see for yourself. Next, in these boxes, this is how I store my belts. They're still kind of all in here. This is the Hermes Kelly belt, which I am a huge fan of, because it's just really simple and timeless. I love this gold color and I love that it has this adjustable feature so you don't really have to think about sizing. You can tighten it if you wanna wear it higher up, high-waisted, you can loosen it if you wanna pull it down. If you gain weight, lose weight, doesn't matter. This is universal, this is my favorite belt. I don't wear belts very often and I hardly ever wear belts with pants. I really just do it with skirts and dresses so it's kind of rare. I don't need more belts. So this one is the one I got and then I got a second one in black and I don't know if I ever properly unbox this but this one I've definitely worn um, a few times already this is the Kelly pocket belt so it comes with this it's really really cute I can definitely use this as a little cute add-on 
or I can use it separately. So I thought, why not? But yeah, those are my two designer belts. I also have a really pretty Isabel Marat belt. I can't seem to find it at the moment. I think it's in the back of my, one of my drawers. Um, so that would make three belts in total that I own, and that is more than enough for me. So no more belts. I am also done with Louis Vuitton canvas bags. Here is my Speedy in the 25 size Dami Ebin. I picked this up in London last year for a phenomenal price. I think I saved like, I don't know, I did the math, I did a whole video on it. It was such a good deal. It brought me back several years prior to all the recent price increases and I felt so satisfied. So definitely got this. I was looking for the 25 um, to add to my collection. It's the bandolier version. And then here I have the Big Mama, which is the 35 version, also bandolier, Dami Ibin, both made in France, really nicely done. With all the quality issues, you have to be really careful and kind of inspect everything. So I was happy to be able to get this one. I actually got this one first before the 25. And then of course I have my pochette accessoire and this one it's got a chain inside it uh, this one I got a number of years ago for like I don't know 540 bucks or something 570 bucks something it's kind of hard to believe the new prices and then of course my beloved pochette Matisse so those are my canvas bags again some of you might be like that's not even that much but it's plenty for me it's more than enough so I am not going to be adding any more canvas bags I think there is such use for canvas it's really durable it's water resistant it's very carefree and it's different from leather um, but I have enough with these four so I'm not going to be buying any more and then last but not least, I mean, I can probably keep going on and on with more categories, but I want to be mindful of how long this video is going to get. These are my Gucci loafers and loafers. I am not going to be adding any more. I was kind of late to the game in terms of actually accepting the idea of wearing loafers. I never thought they would be flattering on me. You guys know if you watched my videos when I talked about my first pair of loafers and I'm, I'm a changed woman. I love loafers. They look so polished and kind of give like a preppy look to my outfits and it just adds some oomph. So these are my Gucci Brixton loafers. I've had them for now like, I don't know, a little over a year maybe. Um, I had them sold with rubber on the bottom. So once these wear down, I will get them resold and over and over and over. It'll just, it'll last for almost a lifetime I think if I take good care of them and I don't wear them in like really bad weather so I have these pair of loafers and then I also have these Chanel loafers that I picked up from the sale it's like a VIP sale the one time I went to the sale and this is just gorgeous in this chocolatey burgundy brown with a CC detail I got such a good deal on these it was 40% off and I've worn them once or twice but I do want to put the rubber soles on them but it's funny because I, the reason why I don't feel like I need to add any more loafers is because since the Gucci ones work so well, I tend to just wear those and then these get neglected. So if I were to add any more loafers, what is that going to do? I also have the Sam Edelman loafers that I bought around the same time that I got the Gucci's just to test out and compare. I did a whole comparison video for those of you who, who um, found that helpful. And those, those are my third pair. So that's it. I'm done. I don't think that I'm going to need to buy any more loafers for the next few decades. So I feel really good identifying different categories where I know I have enough. I can continue to enjoy what I have. I can absolutely admire other beautiful things all around me when I travel or when I go window shopping and it doesn't feel like deprivation it doesn't feel like I'm punishing myself not to buy I feel like I'm celebrating what I already have and I'm maximizing using them and I feel really content and sort of free I feel like there's a freedom that comes with recognizing when you have enough because then you're not constantly chasing and constantly after more and more and more and you know going down that slippery slope of shopping and consumption so that's where I'm at let me know down below if you have certain categories where you are done and you feel good about it and you're just happy to use what you have I'd love to know I'm sure different categories for different people and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I do not have a Paris haul or unboxing video coming hopefully you're not disappointed but I do have a whole lineup of other fun videos that I'm planning to film soon so please stay tuned and I will see you all next time bye bye